Grampy's Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Boys, we got a nice day here at the lake. A little cloudy, but uh, it's and it's muggy, but it's not raining. So that's the first time it hasn't been raining in a week, believe it or not. So uh, we got the roof all finished up in the boathouse, but I have to put the gable end on the lake side of the boathouse. The gable end got smashed, so we're going to go to work and uh, put the gable in. So this is what was on the boathouse. Now I remember I uh, posted a video the other day about trying to discover a way that I could put these grooves back in it because this is what I'm replacing it with. It's a panel of it's the same material, it's just a particle board, pressed particle board, pressed wood, whatever you want to call it, with a sort of a baked on a semi enamel finish on it that's paintable but it has a wood grain pressed into it so it makes it look nice. But as you can see it doesn't have these grooves. So what I'm going to do here today is I was down to the boathouse this morning and I measured up the first piece of uh, sheeting that I need to put up there and I'm going to try and cut a piece out of this to fit in that hole and then we'll put the grooves in it. Okay so back at my panel here uh, I cut the first one and I cut it wrong and that was after taking some time to get the measurement correct. I still cut it wrong, so that takes a, that's my superpower, right? But we're going to try and cut this again off the other end of the panel. To start with then, the panel is 48 inches wide, so that's definitely one of the measurements that we need. Uh, it slopes, it's high on the left, lower on the right. So the lower, the short end of it is five and a quarter inches. So I'm going to mark that at five and a quarter. The high end is 22 inches, so I'll mark that at 22. So on my skill saw, I need to know the distance, because I'm going to be running this side of the foot against my straight edge. I need to know the distance from that face to the inside of this blade. So when I measure that, it measures four and one eighth inches. If I measure back from these marks I made, four and an eighth inches. So there's one, two, three, four and an eighth. This one, four and an eighth. Then, if I take my straight edge and set it on there, then when I run my saw on it, it should be cutting it off at the right amount. So I'm going to take my straight edge, and I have vice grips here, so I'm just going to clamp that on there. About like so. Check them, four and an eighth. So we're going to try and make this cut. Uh, before I make it, I just want to confirm the low end is on the right, high end is on the left. It's five and a quarter at the end here. And 22 at this end. I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. right this time. <laughs> okay now I need to put my vertical uh, grooves on this panel and they're eight inches on center right. I need to determine where the center of the router is so that's four inches it looks like. Four inches from the edge of my router base to the center of the router bit. So now that means if I were to put my fence on the north side of those marks put this against the fence, then I should line my fence up 12 inches away from the edge of the sheet. Does that make sense? 12 inches right there, 12 inches right there, so that's kind of close. We'll set her up like that. Well, and 12. 
So now when I start my router on here, that should cut in there at eight inches. I think this has to be pretty near three eighths wide, and it is. So that doesn't look too bad. Okay, now what we do is uh, we just move this away another eight inches. This is 12, 20 inches. I'll set this to 20 inches, and that should be my other uh, groove, should be all right. All right, let's try this one. Before I go too hog wild on that, I just want to check, make sure. That looks like it's eight inches, so that's good. So we'll finish this side. And eight inches brings us to the edge. Now, because these grooves are three eighths of an inch wide, I can't have it a flush on the end. So I'm gonna to have to shave that off. Uh, I think it would be hard to try to set that up with the router to cut it because the router would be slipping and sliding so I'm just going to uh, try to clean it up a little bit with the plane let's go see if this one fits Evening at the lake. Man, oh man, you can't beat it. The only thing we're missing is the loons hooting at us. <laughs> but they'll be out later. Okay, let's see if I can get that piece stuck up there before it gets too dark. Doesn't look too bad, eh? The grooves lined up good and they're nice and straight. I was really pushing it, eh, trying to get this up, but I wanted to get this one piece up, especially since I made the wrong cut first off. So we'll cut another piece up there tomorrow and probably finish this. So last night I, I measured this and cut out that piece and uh, buzzed the lines in it. So we're gonna try and throw that up there this morning. You know, the first piece to put up, it's, for, it's going to fit. I mean, there's no two ways about it. I mean, if you get the measurements right, like I screwed up the first cut, but anyway, once you get the cut right. But then the second piece has to fit against the first piece and the opening. So that gets a little trickier. So look at this. This piece fits all right. But if you can see right there, that gap 
it's open quite a bit. In order to close that up, I'm going to have to take it down, take it up to the shop, and cut along that ridge line again. I'm going to take this down, take it back to the shop, trim that up a little bit, bring it back down. It'll fit perfect then. I had to make several little tweaks to this, but I think I got it fitting pretty good here. This joint right here doesn't look that bad, eh? I think it'll be alright, so I'll nail it up and measure the next one. Well, uh, I think the gable is up. Uh, wasn't too pleased with this last piece, but I couldn't make adjustments because it would have put all my grooves off. So what did I just show you? Up at the top of that middle joint, you see it, there's quite a little gap up there. But if I had tried to fix that, then these grooves would have been off. So I think I'm just going to leave that. I have a gable vent to put in up here yet. So that'll help camouflage that. Plus when I paint it, it'll darken it up a lot. Well, it's nice to get the gable end on there that finishes off the building. For all intents and purposes now, it's watertight. Uh, I have to put a, a gable vent in up there, and that's going to kind of hide that crack in that last piece. And you know, uh, I worked hard trying to make sure that I did all the cuts perfect because I didn't want to waste any wood. And the first cut I made, <laughs> the very first one, was wrong. Well, there you go. Like I say, that's my superpower. But I recovered pretty good after that because I made minimal mistakes after that first cut. And it turned out not too bad. I think it looks pretty good. Those grooves, they sort of blend right in. Once I get a paint on them there, I think it'll be good. So, some more work to do yet before I'm finished. And I want to thank you all too for following along on this uh, Boathouse Rebuild series that I'm doing. It's, you know, it's dragging on. It's taking some time. Uh, but anyways, at least we're still moving forward. So that's good. Hey folks, it's pretty hot out there, so take care wherever you are. Make sure you stay as cool as you can, uh, stay hydrated, and you know, just take her easy. We'll talk to you soon.